Hi everyone, I am here today with a pretty quick video for you. I have a yarn haul. I had um, a credit towards Yarnspiration, so I did some mystery bags, so it's a surprise for us all. And <clears throat> these are all mill ends, so there's going to be some usable yarn, some not usable yarn. Um, I'll show you what I mean by that in a minute. Um, but they come in bags like this so one pound bags and uh, let me get to it okay so I busted into this one already and they are all 100% acrylic but they do not give you the brand name or um, colors so but they equal out to a pound of yarn now we have this really pretty blue. Now one thing that you're going to notice about these is when you get these, this one is soft and more silky and this one is not as... So if you wanted to use these in a project together it would be a little hard. Um, you can see that the one is a little different weight than the other. Um, this one is bulky, this one is more of a four weight, so I might pull this apart, see how much this weighs, and make a hat or scarf or maybe even wrists, uh, maybe fingerless gloves or something maybe out of these. But you see this is a bulky weight, and there are three balls of corresponding ones here. Now this one also came in that, and like I said, it's different. So put that one to the side. And we actually have two of those bags. Now these ones aren't so bad. Um, you can see right here there's some like plastic, like the ceiling. Um, and you can see that the threads are cut. So you really have to, I would unwind these and wind them into balls first before you use them. Because you don't want to be going on your project and be like, ah, oh, another break, ah, oh, another break. At least if you do that, you can tie your knots, uh, your Russian joints, whichever you like. I like the Russian joints myself. Um, and then it's ready to go. And it's less you have to deal with. So I will kick those up. Oh, here. This one is, see that? See how that's all matted up? So for $7.99, um, a mystery bag, it's really not that bad. But sometimes you don't get the best deal, just so you know. Okay, move these ones to the side. Now, I do have another bag of the same color, so we'll pull those out. And there are three and a little plop of them, because <laughs> it ain't really a full one. So, between all of these, after I wind them up, you see how this has got this, like, heat. Here, listen. It's, like, melted. So I'll, I'll come back, I'll let you guys know in a later video how much of this is actually usable, but I mean, it was a free credit for an issue I had with a previous yarn, um, but you can see that there's issues with this as well, so I'm not quite sure how much of that will be usable, and um, I did have a plan of using this for a blanket, um, but I don't know if that's going to happen now because I don't know if there's going to be enough. Maybe for a baby blanket, but I have no babies in my life. Uh, maybe smaller ones. Um, uh, I don't know. Not even maybe a blank, uh, uh, throw blanket, I'm not sure. Maybe a lapkin or something. Um, there's some in black. That little skein. Um, let's see. Pull all the side of this bag of black. There's one, two, three four, five, six little tiny balls. Okay, so far we're looking good with none of that melt or plastic connection. So, so see your chances are um, decent. Like I don't have any issues with the black. Now this will be hard to show on camera, however. Um, I could show you the finished project though. <clears throat> but so far, that's what we have. Okay, so let's, let's move on. I got three more bags to show you of one pound yarn. Okay. 
Uh, open this one up first. Now these aren't bulky. <clears throat> these are actually um, four ply acrylic again. So you get the coloring. There's pink, yellow, blue, white, green, so baby yarn. But you get two big balls. And I am not seeing any of that plastic. So that is good. So if you like doing anything with floral waves in like the more pastel colors or baby colors, which as it was, um, that would be good. Um, they, they make cute little gifts too for anyone you know that likes pastels. I don't know many people that are big on them. Here's another one that doesn't have those mill end issues. Um, it's pink and green and peach and white and I love, I like this coloration. Really don't know what I'll make with it. Um, honestly, with these baby arms, I'm really not sure what I'll make. I might gift them away, um, but they're not, no issues with them. And the same with this one. Now, I do love this color, this color combination, the green and the blue and the white. Um, I might make maybe a little something out of these. Um, I'm really not quite sure. It is a nice four weight. Um, I wouldn't actually... These usually are considered that, but I wouldn't. I would say maybe a two or a three. Um, some fine blanket, but really cute. Might be able to get away with making a throw blanket with these, maybe. I'll have to look up some um, ideas and see how much it takes for certain sizes. But <clears throat> you can't beat that for $8 a bag, um, at least for the baby yarn ones, really not that bad. Hey, sorry for the moving. Hopefully you don't get sick. Let me show you how much yarn I got. Okay, that's a good amount of yarn to keep me busy for a little while. However, I'm going to be wrapping and playing with that bulky and, and see how much I actually end up with if I can actually make uh, afghan with it. And if I can, then I'm going to do a tutorial for you guys um, with that. So, but look for my other videos and I'll let you guys know if I have enough to do that. But thank you all for joining me for this haul. And if you guys did the mystery bags, let me know how much, how you guys lucked out. If you guys got any of those odd mill ends with all those issues. Or if you had a little bit better luck like I did. Four out of my six bags were good. So, can't complain. But, thank you all for joining me. Have a wonderful day. And I'll see you in the next one, guys. Bye. I know I already said goodbye, but I wanted to jump on here and show you guys I wound up all that bulky yarn, um, all the blue and the black, and the millens, and this is what I was able to salvage of that, um, the chunky little pieces, the, the, one of the crispy ends, and all the connections and all the joins. Now, if you don't want to take the time to do that, I highly suggest don't buy the millens. Um, Although, a good amount of them, I didn't have to worry about re um, Russian joining them. But this bag, which holds a pound, was half full. With just unwinding those yarns to check them and everything, and to rescan them up. And I hand wound them over um, an OS pin. And this bag was halfway full. And I mean like crammed, like halfway full um, of ends. And we're talking like the shortest ones being like this long. It was a pain in the butt. And this is how much yarn. I mean, you could see it is a big cake. Um, that is how much I was able to salvage. Could you imagine throwing that much yarn away? I mean, those were all those little pieces I just showed you that I sat and joined together and made a cake out of insane um but worth it and these are all the ends that were left from trimming off so almost you know zero waste on that um minimal waste i like that it's good you know um but here are all the little balls of yarn 
Now, when I got through the blue, I realized they actually had black tied on in the middle of that ball. So you may even get a surprise like that. Um, I have never in my life seen that from the lens, but that, that is definitely a first for me. So I wanted to share that with you guys. So I just left it. Um, normally I would separate that out, but I, I figured with this, with this yarn in particular, I want to take, and there's the, there's the black ones too. So let's get them all in there. I want to take all these balls of yarn which comes out to roughly, roughly, um, doing the math from grams to yards for a bulky weight with um, 50 grams being 80, being like 80 yards, um, comes out to 2160 yards. So I am going to see if I can't make a small throw from that. Um, and what I want to do, I think I'm going to try doing is work one ball, make a pattern out of the blues and the blacks, line them up, and work a ball. When that ball's at the end, switch to the switch to the next, and kind of go back and forth and see what I get out of it. Um, just for something fun to do, something different. Um, I know somebody would, out there would love it, so. That's my plan and my goal to do with this yarn. Um, as I was winding it, that's what I came up with. I figured something different and I'm gonna give it a shot. And I, it's going to be a crochet project, not a knit. So hopefully you guys will see this as a, maybe as a fun knit along or tutorial for a blanket. Um, I know I was requested for um, a few patterns. So maybe I'll do something like that figure it out and I'll show you guys but again thank you for joining me for this yarn haul video and I just wanted to get back to you and show you this before I went on and post this so thank you guys for joining me again and looking forward to see what this becomes and seeing you guys in the next video have a great day bye bye